here we are up at Bush Bay, uh, staying here for a couple of weeks for this particular video, not about the place, but uh, about just cooking a bit of camp food. What we're trying out for the first time is the Weber barbecue, the baby Q, and giving the pizza plate a workout. First time we've ever tried this on the baby Q. Now we'll see how it goes. First off, we have to heat the barbecue up to get everything nice and warm, ready for the pizzas. Okay, so the barbecue is on, and we leave that to heat up for about 10-15 minutes. Right, the barbecue is now nice and hot. It's taken about 20 minutes to get that plate warmed up. Meanwhile, I've been preparing the ingredients to make up the pizzas. We've got a 12 pack of these little pizzas that you can get from Woolies or Coles. Spread some tomato sauce on the top. Usually you would use tomato paste, but we haven't got any, so we're just making do at the moment with what we've got. And then basically build the pizza up from there. A little sprinkle of cheese on the bottom. Grated cheddar, we've got the fortunate we're fortunate in being able to cart a lot of gear around with us and we've got a fridge on board the coaster so we don't have to make do with small amounts of stuff or pre-prepared stuff or everything we bring is fresh. The challenge with these is going to be fitting enough stuff on top of them because they are very small. And in fact I think we've got have a bit of problem fitting everything on top of it. Very challenging keeping it all there. Oh. I'm going to be feeding the ants as well, by the looks of it. So this is the first time we've tried this, so there's going to be a little bit of a learning process. some more cheese on top. Hopefully that'll hold everything together. Now on the Weber we've also got the Trevette on top and you can't see it but there's actually a aluminium plate underneath that. Okay I get number one cooking and we work on the second one. We figure about two of these per person for a dinner. And we've always got other munchies on board and fruit and whatnot, if we're still hungry after that. Have some nice chopped up pizza salami there. Some pre-sliced olives. We do actually have some anchovies in a bottle here. Very salty, so you tend to be a bit sparing with those. Break them into little pieces. Three or four bits on top should be enough. A little bit of onion. Tomato, capsicum, a couple of slices of mushroom, and this time we'll top it off with cheese without putting any on the bottom. Let's see how that goes, try a different method for each one. We'll pop that in and give it about 15 minutes and check it again once we're ready and we'll see how they go <laughs> one thing you might notice about this particular baby queue is the addition of the temperature gauge to the front of it it wasn't on there when we bought it but we had an old barbecue that we were throwing out and it was just a simple matter of drilling a couple of holes in the baby queue and switching it over 
rather than buying BBQ with a temperature gauge from Weber, because that costs quite a bit more actually. And after about 15 minutes, here we are with the pizzas obviously heating in different areas. This one's well cooked, that one needs a little bit more. Now we'll just pop this one off the plate. Looking pretty good. Leave that one on there a few more minutes just to brown off the cheese and then that'll be ready and we'll pop the other ones on. And now we pop the remaining pizzas on. First two seem to come out pretty well. We figure that it's possible to fit three on this little plate. Now we're just going to slide those on and see how we go. Arrange them as carefully as possible. And in about 15 minutes, we'll be ready to eat. Now the cooking temperature for these is normally about 200 to 250, depending on how quickly you want to cook them. Showing a little bit lower on the temperature gauge at the moment, just because we've opened the lid. And here we have the finished product. Well, this is the first time we've tried it out on the Weber. And that turned out pretty well, so we'll judge this one a success. A little bit of cleaning up, obviously, to do on that stone later on. We'll let that cool down for a while first. <laughs> 